I was traveling in uh, Rishikesh, which is in Uttarakhand, North India. There I met one doctor who was working for AIMS, you know, All India Medical Science. He told me he is earning 2 lakh rupees a month and he don't know what to do. Because normally this AIMS means All India Medical Science is a government uh, hospitals and education thing. They provide all facilities for these professors and everything. So he 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 said like he spent around like two thousand rupees a month maximum. Remaining money will be there. So he's not into materialistic world. So he was telling me, well, I don't know what to do with this kind of money. So he is a MBBS MD and. A like a teaching is like a passion for him he is he was teaching for uh, medical you know students so for some people it is a dream to earn two lakh rupees a month means it's too much like it's a dream come true you know i have seen some people like who uh, studied in uh, iim iit and all they left their job and started volunteering uh, for um, some like uh, microfinance or something, you know, uh, in villages doing some uh, like teaching village kids and all this thing, which gives satisfaction to them, you know, success and satisfaction is completely different uh, thing. You may get success, but you may not get satisfied by that. So, I what I mean to say is like if you focus on just money, like will not give you satisfaction or personal experience I am sharing but um, if you are focusing on satisfaction you don't need much uh, to target you know achieve that target means satisfaction so making money now is like um, everywhere is like people are after making money making money they, they don't focus on how they make money instead of they just see how much they can make money so because this, there is a reflection like if you make money in a wrong way you may end up spending in hospitals or unwanted thing you may buy luxury things you know like in the end it doesn't mean anything in the end you if you talk with people who are in 80s 80 90s or 70 75 years old they don't have any dreams they just want to stay healthy or waiting for death you know very unusual life they are living like youngster very it's very hard to understand for youngsters so it's better to talk with this angst like old old aged people and to understand their desires their life how they lived life what their desire was and what they, they are desiring now in this way we we can learn a lot of things from our life thanks for watching just share your comments you know like your view on this like what is your targets what is your dreams uh, even I, I like to learn from you and subscribe this channel get connected with me thanks for watching namaste